Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the dining philosopher problem. Initially, we have a table and a set of five plates and a fork lying next to each plate on the table. Next, we have five philosophers whose only work is to keep thinking or feel hungry and eat. There are a few problems associated with this situation. They are starvation and the deadlock. So what is the starvation and deadlock? Starvation is a situation where one philosopher never gets the chance to eat. Thus he eventually starves and dies. Deadlock is a state where one philosopher is waiting for the other philosophers to complete eating. And the other philosophers in turn are waiting for the first one to complete eating, thus forming an unending cycle. One of the solutions for this problem is called the conductor's solution. This solution introduces a waiter or a conductor to arbitrate. Philosophers must ask his permission before taking up any forks. Because the waiter is aware of how many forks are in use, he is able to intervene and prevent the deadlock. We implement the conductor as a semaphore. To further simplify the logic, we implement a rule to request forks, say right fork before left fork or vice versa. Consider that the philosophers are labeled clockwise from A to E. If A and C are eating, four forks are in use. B sits between A and C, so has neither fork available, whereas D and E have one unused fork between them. Suppose D wants to eat. When he wants to take up the fifth fork, deadlock becomes likely. If instead he asks the waiter and is told to wait, we can be sure that the next time two forks are released, there will certainly be at least one philosopher who could successfully request a pair of forks. Hello friends, I know the previous example is very boring, but in order to understand the clearly concept of Danny philosopher, I will show you the real time example. And this example will clear you about the concept of Danny philosopher. So let's go in. These are the five Danny philosophers and they have five plates on their tables. And they have two spoons around each plate. So this Danny philosopher can do only one work. Either they can think or they can eat. But they, there is one rule. They can eat only when they have two spoons. And this problem creates various problems. One of the problem is deadlock. Suppose all philosophers get hungry at the same time. All philosophers will pick up their right spoons at the same time. Thus, it seems a problem that no, no philosopher will get two spoons, so no philosopher will be able to eat, and thus it offers a deadlock. Due to deadlock, all philosophers will get died after some time. One more problem they are facing that is starvation. Let's see what's going on there. Here, philosopher one and three getting hungry and they start eating. After some time they drop their spoon and the main philosopher two and five start eating. After their satisfaction they drop their spoon and again philosopher 1 and 3 start philosopher 4 still thinking after some time they drop their spoon and again philosopher 2 <coughs> and 5 start eating. philosopher 4 not getting chance to eat After some time, they again drop their spoons 
and philosopher one and three again started to eat. And the philosopher for not getting chance to eat, and thus he suffered from starvation. And hence, unfortunately, philosopher four dies. In this scenario, the one philosopher is very greedy. The philosopher one feels very hungry and he starts eating. And philosopher three also starts eating. After some time, they drop their spoons. Again, philosopher one feels hungry, he starts eating. And again, philosopher four starts eating. After their satisfaction, they drop their spoons. Philosopher 1 again feels hungry, he again starts eating with philosopher 3. This scenario continues for a long time. Let's see what happened after a long time. Here, philosopher 2 and 5 are died and philosopher 1 become very powerful. Since we discussed the dining philosopher problem, now we see the solution for that. The solution is called as the conductor solution. Here, if a philosopher wants a right spoon, he have to raise his right hand. And if he wants a left spoon, he have to raise his left hand. And I, the conductor, who fulfill his request. Let's see how it's work. So here, the philosopher one wants the right spoon and I will grant him the right spoon. Now, the philosopher one wants to left spoon. I, the conductor, will grant him the left spoon. Now here, the philosopher three wants the right spoon. I will grant him the right spoon. Now the philosopher three wants left spoon. I grant him the left spoon. Now philosopher five wants the right spoon. So I grant him the right spoon. Now philosopher five wants the left spoon. But he have to wait because no spoon is available now. After some time, the philosopher 1 and 3 stop it. And now I grant philosopher 5 the left spoon. Now philosopher 2 wants the right spoon. So I grant him the right spoon. Now philosopher 2 wants the left spoon. So I grant him the left spoon. Philosopher 4 have to wait. After some time, Philosopher 5 and 2 stop it. And I grant him the right spoon, the Philosopher 4. And now Philosopher 4 wants left spoon, so I grant him left spoon. So, it seems that it's working good and no philosopher are to die. What happened when all five philosophers requested right spoon at the same time? Philosopher 1 requested right spoon, so I grant it. Philosopher 2 requested right spoon, I grant it. Philosopher 3 requested right spoon, I grant it. Philosopher 4 requested right spoon, I grant it. Now, if I grant right spoon, or right spoon to the philosopher 5, it offers to build down. Hence, I grant the spoon to the left hand of the uh, fourth philosopher. Now, after some time, the philosopher 4 stop it. And I grant the left spoon to the philosopher 3. Then, after some time, he will drop the spoon and I will 
grant the next spoon to the philosopher too. And now I will grant the right spoon to the philosopher five. And after some time, philosopher two stop eating. And I will grant the left spoon to the philosopher one. And after the completion of the philosopher one, I will grant the left spoon to the philosopher five. And hence, the deadlock will not occur. And hence, the solution works. Yeah, I'm going to